Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Watch out, all right? You're marrying the wrong man. <laughs> it should be me. <laughs> I'm all spilling out. Where's the photographer? Oh, there's my... Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, the vegetables we're grabbing at the moment. I'll, I'll go get them to come out to you. So don't wash out the car yet. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just yeah, a little chat. Don't worry. Yeah. Trying to borrow yeah, my hat, it's Alan? It's a moving. Yeah. I can have it. Yeah, they'll um, just make sure the details are Got to get iron, you know. Oh, you've got to get iron. You know, my best friend. Come on. We like to wait and then we like a hat. It's going to be a puzzle. A hat's a question, though. Watch out. Touches not only your heart but also your soul. 
Once in a lifetime you discover someone who stands beside you, not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are and not for who you could be. Once in a lifetime you find someone as you have found each other. Thank you. Before you make your vows to each other, it is my duty to remind you of two things. Firstly, this place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. And this simply means that every marriage which takes place in this room is fully legal and binding on both parties. I also have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is a union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. These vows which unite you as husband and wife constitute a formal and public pledge of your love for each other. Graham and Hannah, the institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. So I will now ask each of you to confirm your intention to marry one another and that you are free to do so. So Graham, do you promise to love and care for Hannah, to be her strength, to be her comfort and to honour and respect her always. Okay. Please repeat after me. I declare, I declare that I know of, that I know of no, legal reason no legal reason why I, Graham Ralph Venables, why I, Graham Ralph Venables may, not be joined in marriage may not be joined in marriage to Hannah Louise Sanders. To Hannah, Louise Sanders. Okay. Hannah, do you promise to love and care for Graham, to be his strength, to be his comfort and to honour and respect him always. I declare that I know of no legal reason why I, Hannah Louise Sanders, may not be joined in marriage to Graham Ralph Venables. The exchange of marriage vows in front of witnesses forms part of a long tradition of marriage in this country. You have stated your intention to marry and your freedom to do so, and the time has now come for you to contract your marriage before everyone gathered here. And this is a very special moment because as you say these vows to each other, you are becoming husband and wife. Now you've asked your mothers, Linda and Patricia, to be your special witnesses, so if you can find a little space, would you like to come and join us at the front? <coughs> if you two would like to turn to face each other, if you want to put on the hands. <coughs> so Graham, if you can please repeat after me. I, Graham Ralph Venables. I, Graham Ralph Venables. Take you, Hannah Louise Sanders. Take you, Hannah Louise Sanders. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I love you, you are my best friend. I love you, you are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you and to comfort you. To laugh with you and comfort you. In times of sorrow and struggle. In times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When life seems easy and when life seems hard. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And to always hold you in the highest regard. And to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today. These things I give to you today. And all the days of our lives. And all the days of our lives. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Take you, Graham Ralph Venables, to be my wedded husband.
I love you. You are my best friend. I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To love with you and to comfort you. To love with you and to comfort you. In times of sorrow and struggle. In times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. <laughs> when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to cherish you. And to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today. These things I give to you today. And all the days of our lives. And all the days of our lives. Well done. You can have a rest now. <laughs> so I'd like to ask Sarah forward for the next reading of the day. <laughs> <laughs> laughing with each other about silly little things and learning to discuss big things with care and tenderness. In marriage, love is trusting each other when you're apart. It's getting over disappointments and hurts, knowing that these are present in all relationships. It is the real realisation that there is no one else in this world that you'd rather be with than the one you married to. <laughs> it's thinking of new things to do together. It's growing old together. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. Thank you. Well done. way of sealing a marriage contract is the giving and receiving of a ring. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolises unending and everlasting love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises you have made to each other. May all the love and happiness you have found together, like the circle of a wedding ring, go on forever. I saw two young men, Hayden and Harvey, with the rings, if you'd like to come forward. Would you like to turn to face each other again? And Hayden, well, I can ask you to give Hannah's ring to Graham, please. Okay. Harvey, you just hang on to the other one for a minute. And Graham, as a token of your promise to Hannah, place the ring on the third finger of her left hand. Holding the ring in place, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to be faithful and loyal. I promise to be faithful and loyal. To love, cherish, and respect you. To love, cherish, and respect you. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of joy. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Harvey, if you'd like to be going into room to Hannah. Thank you. So you can go back to your seats now. Thank you. And Hannah, as a token of your promise to Graham, place the ring on the third finger of his left hand and hold the ring in place, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to be faithful and loyal. To love, cherish, and respect you. To love, cherish, and respect you. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Graham and Hannah, this is the start of a new life together and I'm sure everyone here hopes that the feeling of love that you have for each other will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. And you have both now made the declarations required by law and made solemn promises to one another in the presence of your family and friends gathered here today. 
So it now gives me great pleasure to confirm you are now legally husband and wife. <laughs>
You've made me feel like part of the family since day one. I've never really had a chance to say thank you properly, so thank you. <laughs> thank you too for raising such a beautiful, intelligent and independent <laughs> daughter. <laughs> <laughs> who is uh, full of life, a wonderful character and a caring nature. She is a true credit to you both. Thank you for allowing uh, me to uh, have a hand in marriage. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my mum for her life support and friendship. Thank you for raising me the way you and Dad did, and for pointing me in the right direction. <coughs> the direction to the bowl by myself. But I'm sure you agree with me, they did a fantastic job. Both yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hannah and I would like to say a big thank you to both our mums today for their help and assistance in helping today run as smoothly as possible. And uh, we've got some flowers that we'd like to uh, give to our, our mums as a token of uh, thanks. <laughs> everything you've done for Hannah both today and over the last few weeks and months and also for allowing uh, Hannah not to run off anywhere <laughs> I can tell you Hannah's pretty quick off the mark <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to Doug, Greg and Martin uh, for being the ushers today you've been working behind the scenes Blink, you may, may have missed it <laughs> seriously done a sterling job <laughs> I'd <laughs> also like to thank the Page Boys, Harvey, oh, Austin, yeah. oh, Hayden and Ruben. They're, they're very smart as well <laughs> as looking after the rings and distributing the confetti mainly over, over all our heads. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Page Boys would like to come up, we've got a little, um, little something for you. best men today. We shared many good times together. Over the last 20 years or so, I has become a true and reliable friend, and I'm honoured that you've agreed to be one of my best men. Alan has known me even longer. In fact, all my life, he's my other brother and also a good friend. Yay. And Iva, if you'd like to come up, we have a small gift for you also, as a token of our friends. saying that. I can hardly find the words to say absolutely stunning today. 
I'm sure everyone here today will agree with me on that one. Yay. I knew the dress was expensive. <laughs> I didn't realise that it cost that much. She looked really nice in it. We first met about seven years ago through our mutual friends, Ivor and Michelle. Um, they both claim to introduce both of us, but from memory, I'm sure I introduced myself to Hannah. I think something along the lines of, uh, hi, are you Emma? Are you Emma? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'd all go out of work. After work and unwind after a hard day at the office, usually after searching the internet all day for uh, cheap drinks and gift vouchers for uh, <laughs> free drinks at these establishments. We'd head off to the best value bars and get a bit worse for wear, quite regularly, usually on Thursday. Yeah, so we could get rid of our hangovers on Friday during work hours. <laughs> our friendship and attraction grew over the months, especially as the drinks flowed freely, found with lots of common, love of vodka, champagne and house music, to name a few. Yeah. <laughs> and we weren't drinking, we liked, we liked scuba diving, and my, life watched, like, my wife liked watching me play my Xbox. I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anna is caring, spontaneous, kind, considerate, generous, <laughs> and lives life to the full. So she's fortunate to have found me the exact opposite of all those. It's the opposite to do attract. Fast forward to today, I'm in the fortunate position of being able to say I've married my best friend, my soulmate, and now I can call you my wife. And it, and it made me so happy. I hope I can provide you a broad life, fun, enjoyment, fulfilment, love and happiness. <laughs> We've had so many good times together so far. With the help of our family, friends and loved ones who have joined us here today, I know the start of many, many more. Yay! <laughs> As you know, I have two best men. They're Alan, my brother, and Ivor. Some of you know, I was a man of few words, <laughs> and therefore it's fitting that his speech consists of precisely no words. <laughs> so thank you, Ivor, for being so kind and not making me cringe. <laughs> I know you agree with most things I have to say, that's probably why I've been friends so long. <laughs> now there's just one more thing I have to let you know about before I finish my speech, and that is letting you in on family secret. It's that Alan suffers from a strange condition that occasionally causes him to drift in and out of weird, strange flights of fantasy. He's done this from a very early age. He's been known to make up fanciful stories, absolutely believing them to be true. <laughs> strange <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> But before I pass you over to Alan to entertain you, probably at my expense, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you join me in drinking the toast to the bridesmaids. Yay! Yay. 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 And page boys. And us. And now for the second main event of today, pleasure to introduce the other half best men double act, my best man Alan. Probably won't be so quite as kind to me as I was in his speech. <laughs> so I give you I give you my brother Alan. It's not the easy mark to understand. Where's the speaking best man? 